Hi, Taryn. My name is Sarah Mercer, and I am so excited I get to be your EPIC teacher this year. Um, I first want to start off by giving you a little bit um, of a background about me. Um, I was born and raised in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. I've been married to my husband, Chris, for 17 years. We have two children, a 14-year-old son and a 10-year-old daughter. I went to Oklahoma State University, and I obtained my bachelor's in marketing. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom till my kids went to school. And then I was approached to become a reading intervention teacher with AmeriCorps for second graders. And so I jumped on the opportunity and I absolutely loved it and can say that that was the best decision I ever made. I um, loved the connection and the bond that I made with these students. I loved their how their confidence and their sparkle and their love of reading has returned when they learn new skills and they learn those skills that they were struggling with. You can just see the confidence skyrocket. Um, I've worked, I did that for two years until I was approached to have my own classroom. And so I taught for a year, fifth grade science and sixth grade language arts. And then I decided with the pandemic to pull my kids out and do homeschool. So I did that until everything kind of calmed back down. And then I then started subbing in the schools and doing an aftercare program. So that's a little bit about my history and how I started teaching. And I'm just so excited to get back into having students and the interaction and the bond that you can form with students and helping them in any ways that I possibly can. Um, so let's get right into where we're going to start. Okay, so you know you took the STAR benchmark assessment and your scores indicated um, for a third grade level that you are below basic, um, which is okay. It gives us a starting point and kind of gives us a little bit of guide of where we need to start to help you get back up to the third grade level. So I have put together a few um, lesson plans that I want you to work on, and I will go over with them with you right now. So Taryn, based on your STAR benchmark testing, um, I have chosen these standards that we're going to work on. Um, I've chosen 3.2.F1, which states students will read high frequency and irregular spelled grade level words with automaticity and text. Um, and that just means that I want to start with sight words and see how many that you know. Um, sight words are words that you do not have to sound out. You are really quick to recognize them and say them out loud. So we're going to start on the first 100 and we're going to start with 10 each as I put right here under your lesson plans. I have attached a Google Doc for you, and this is just flashcards for you to go over. And I want you to start, like I said, with the first 10. So um, don't overwhelm yourself. So the next standard that I had chose for you to work on is 3.2.PWS. Students will use decoding skills and semantics and context when reading new words in a text, including multisyllabic words. So what that is, is saying is it wants you to be able to learn how to decode bigger words that you can't really sound out right away or that you don't recognize from one of your sight words. You have, there's a, there, you have to learn how to break them into smaller parts in order to read them. So I wanted to start with just a review of upper and lowercase letters. So with this worksheet, I just want you to go through and make sure to match the upper with the lower case and also do the sound for each of them. Once you have mastered and done that, then we're going to move down here to the vowel sounds. I want you to go through um, the long and the short vowel sounds. There's a short video to watch and then there will be this Google present Google Doc where we will work on short and long vowels. Let's let it load first. So you'll come to this word as in dice. So I want you to listen for the vowel sound in it. And is that vowel sound a long vowel or a short vowel? And so when you say d-i-s, 
I want you to be able to say, that's a long vowel. And then you take the long and you put it over here into the box. And you'll just do that for all of these slides. And once you have mastered that, we'll move down here to a short video that kind of goes over and gets you familiar with what a CVC word is. Um, I, I, I will have a worksheet for us to do when we meet in person. So right now I just want you to watch the video to kind of get an idea of what a CVC word is. Then I want you to work with a parent or a caregiver and I want you to try to read this um, story. It's a lot of words that you should be able to sound out if you know your sounds. And then if you're able to do that, next I want you to try to answer some of these questions. Um, and then at the end, if you want to print it off, you are welcome to do that and you can draw the pet with no ball. I wanna see your best art. So once you have completed all of that work, then I want you to go down and go to IXL and do the kindergarten level D.1 and P.8. Those are just two that will help you go over sounds and also CVC and letter recognition. So I wanna kinda of get an idea on if you are catching on to what um, I have put up here. And if you are, great, we'll move on to the next skill. If not, it shows me that maybe we need to work on these skills just a little bit longer. These are just kind of a base of where I'm gonna base it off of just to kind of see where we need to start. We might be able to move way ahead and we may need to just slow down just a little bit. So that's for your virtual lesson that I want you to do at home. Then we're gonna meet in person. And I am going to print off and have some flashcards for us to do and I will bring a dice and we're gonna do a game where you roll a dice and then whatever number you get, you pick up that sight word card that corresponds with that number and you're gonna read that sight word to me and put it in a sentence for me. So we're gonna do that for the first 10 to 20 sight words. Next, we're going to go over a long and short vowel review together, and then we will build and break down CVC words. We will also use um, these Hegarty lessons that are great to learn how to take away a beginning sound, put in another bit of sound to make a different CVC word. So we're gonna go with this roll and read, if I can get it to open. where we just roll and read um, CVC words. So it'll be kind of the same thing that we were doing with the sight words where you'll roll one and then you'll whatever corresponding number you land on, we're gonna read a word from that list. And I will help you with that so we can do that together in person. And then we're also going to work and try this one. So this one kind of breaks down at the beginning, the middle, the end, and also where you need to put where your vowel is. So when you get here, you're gonna go m, at, and then put it together and you're gonna go mat. And we're gonna read them all together. And then we just change the beginning and the ending to m, app, map. And then if you change the beginning and ending again, but use the same vowel in the middle, you do m, ad, mad. So we're gonna go over these CVC words together. So then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna read a short story together and answer the questions. It's the same one that you had done with your parents or your caregiver. Um, I just wanna see how well you do and if you can do it by yourself. Um, that will be the last thing that we will do and then I will give you a little short assessment, um, just 10 questions. I'm just gonna ask you a few things um, going over the long vowels, the short vowels, letter recognition, and maybe a few CVC words and just kind of see how, um, how well you're handling those. Um, and if you're doing great, we'll move on. And if not, we'll stay where we're at or we'll lower it a little bit. Uh, Taryn, I hope that that was not too much information. I know it was a lot at once, um, but just take it day by day. Um, I'm here to help you every step of the way. If you have any questions, any concerns, if you need me, please do not hesitate to call me, text message me. You can email me and I will help you in any way that I can. I am so excited to get the year started and to be your epic teacher. 
Um, I know it's going to be a phenomenal year, and I know you're going to do great things this year. Um, if, like I said, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye.